What's up guys and welcome back to the final episode of Breaking Point. This has been so good. This this was so well done. Absolutely exceeded my expectations and uh, I I'm sad it's over, but at the same time I can't wait to see what happens and I can't wait to see what they do with it again. What's up guys and welcome to the final episode of Breaking Point here in F1 2021. This was such a fantastic addition to this game. Seriously, so well done. Absolutely exceeded my expectations, and I had pretty high expectations. So it's time to see what comes of this. Team Williams has kind of united. You know, we're getting along as teammates and that kind of thing. And uh, really, we're just focusing on the last couple of races of the year. We want to beat out Aston Martin. So here we go. Chapter 15 with Williams continuing to put together an impressive run of form. The gap between 4th and 5th place in the Constructors' Championship is continuing to narrow. Here we go. Look at this. Williams is only looking forward. Not many races left for Casper now, of course. You know, not only are we looking to, to really kind of set ourselves up as a team for the end of the season, but I want to end my career on a high note. So Got our wife calling. Daddy. Her daughter. Hey, Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. <laughs> yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, one or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lilks? You are. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Bye. <laughs> Alrighty then, we're just gonna move on. A little pre-race drama here, huh? Fellas. Driver meeting? Sell out crowd, they're saying. Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, Good. Fair play to you, mate. It takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm, I'm just saying you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh, well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. I hate him you know, so I much. I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun. Used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. I mean, you know, it was very entertaining. Now, you just mope around, bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devin. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Oof. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. What, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Mercedes seat is mine. The contract's as good as signed. It's just but it's not signed yet. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell him, mate. Uh, mate? I don't know who this is going to. Let's go, Lando. Oh, I love it, baby. Finally, finally catching up to him as past is. With Butler's mind games no longer having any effect, Ackerman sets out to take the race directly to the man who caused the rift between the two teammates at Williams. Here we go. U.S. Grand Prix, oh, seven okay. laps to go here right. at Coda. Here's a Butler ahead. Butler, you're closing on him. No theatrics, please, Casper. Yeah, understood. I 100% just want to spear him. Just run, run right into him. Just not, not even, not even try to try to keep it on the track. Not even try to do anything. Butler's up in ninth. We are currently in 12th. So we're gonna have to make a couple of passes here. Let's see what we can do. I've not raced on this track in a while, but I do really enjoy it. I've been here in real life, not to the F1 race, but I went here for uh, the X Games, when COD was in the X Games, 
quite a few years ago. Kind of a, a crazy thing to say the least. But uh, here we go, baby. We're now back. We're approaching the back markers. Oh shoot, we're gonna have seven at the moment. We're gonna have back markers to get around to, along with the guys that we're actually racing. We've got traffic coming out of the the pits. We're stopping all the way back in ninth. That's not really where I'd expect him to be, but okay, yeah, this this is gonna be tough. We've got our work cut out for us here. Dude, Butler is all the way up into P7, man. So far ahead. Devon is three places ahead of you right now. Three places, I guess. I mean, it's it's manageable. This is such yeah, a large track, too. Is 1.5 seconds. Max is 1.5 ahead. We've got Esteban in front of him. Should hopefully be able to get, get around these two fairly quickly. And focus on closing that gap. Here we go. Did not get DRS, seriously? Keep it up. Oh, that sucks, but we're okay. We're going to be fine. We'll work through it. Ooh, we got Stroll up in front of us now, too. Holy cow, we got a whole train of guys. We're going to have to get around, including Butler's teammate, before we get to Butler to this. Currently in sixth place, P6. Ah, this section's so hard. I love it, though. It's so much fun. Came in a little bit too hot. Kind of reminds me of, of Japan in, in our last episode. Play it, play it safe here, Trev. Don't get any crazy damage. Don't, don't try to make any hero theatrics or anything like that. Let's just use the, the DRS zones to our advantage. Beautiful, nice and smooth. We should have a DRS coming up. Stay in his pocket. Try to stay in that slipstream. Not going to be enough to get around him. Or maybe it is. Nope. Again, not gonna force anything. Shoot, dude, we're, we might we might actually have have trouble here. Your four places down on Devon. Got him around the outside there. All right, we'll take it. Not exactly what I was intending to do, but we had the speed for it, so sounds good to me. Now we gotta refocus on these two here. We were not within one second at the detection point, so they are going to have DRS all the way down this straight while we... Oh, actually, just, just kidding. We were. Okay. DRS wide open. Let's see what we can do here. Sorry, Max. Okay, good work. Great pass. I don't know if I'd call that a, a great pass, boss. I feel like I was a little, a little aggressive there. Got to let off a bit more there, Trev, but that was that was good. That thing is just, it's so fast. I can't even imagine what it would feel like if you were in the car just getting thrown left, right, left, right, left. Holy cow. Okay, hoping. Devin's currently in P5. You're closing in on Devon, Cass. Let's put the pressure on. Dang it! I was going to say, hoping to get a good release on this corner so we can maybe catch for Stavit on this straight. We might get him anyway. Yeah, he doesn't have DRS, we do. Should be nice and nice and easy for us to get around. There it is. All right, Devin Butler. Uh-oh, looks like he gave up a position, huh? Okay. Just set the fastest sector two of the race so far, thanks to that DRS action. Giovinazzi is going to get out of the way for us. And that should put us right up on Butler's tail here. I was hoping we were going to be able to slingshot around the outside right there, but no. We're going to get him on the start-finish straight. I don't think he's going to have DRS. We will. Let's go. He does not have DRS. We got him. Bang. Let's go. So you were saying about me being old and past my prime and, and whatever else. Do you, do you remember that, Devin? Do you happen to... Happy to remember where that came from. Little talk we had before the race, because it just so seems you may have been wrong. Ooh, we might get caught for 
corner cutting right there. That was that was very close. Even more importantly, we've got Aiden up here in front of us. Because again, you know, I, I am I am old. We're retiring. I'm not gonna be around anymore to, to be able to put up with this this BS. You might catch me on like the commentator's desk or something on on some weekends or you know out in a yacht in Monaco partying. But um, ultimately, Aiden's the one that's gonna have to deal with you from now on, and it's it's looking like looking like he's got you as well and a Williams fancy that so I think we I mean if we were really pushing we could have we could have passed Aiden here a, a few times you know you could see I mean we're we're faster but uh, I'm I'm gonna let the kid have it you you take it buddy you you've more than earned it I want to have you get that p4 I wish we could have got you up on the podium we're about six seconds behind Norris unfortunately we, we couldn't couldn't make that happen, but uh, I'm, I'm going to defend you from Verstappen as much as I can here. Verstappen and Leclerc are going to make sure they don't get around us, and uh, we should be able to cruise to a P4, P5 victory. Just making the kid look good out here, man. That's, that's all we can do. Ooh. That would be a Williams thing to just completely wreck right at the very end, huh? Woo, there it is. All right, so race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Max hitting a little aggressive there at the end. My goodness, uh, there's there's one race left. Well, this Abu Dhabi, to end in the end of the season. Fashion. The tussle for the top continues, but in the midfield, Williams very much closing the gap on Aston Martin. So I guess we're still behind. Both teams have had a terrific season. Butler and Jackson rumored to be in the running for that open Mercedes seat too. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Oh, he's gonna get it. If you're anything like us, you won't want the season to end, but end it must. From here on in, every second of every lap counts. What a riveting season it's been. <clears throat> I'm excited, man. So a magnificent race. All right, let's just keep keep pushing forward. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. I want to talk Yet some trash. victory over rivals Aston Martin today, Casper and more speculation over whether or not you can steal that fourth place. What do you have to say about that? Well, yes, and rightfully so, in my opinion. We've They're trash. We've on fourth place for a while now, even when others have written us off. We're working tirelessly to make every second of every race count, and it's right that that's reflected in the standings. We know what we're capable of, and we know we can do it. Your retirement grows ever closer, of course. Is that something you think about? Yes, of course. It's easy to take a race for granted when it's all you ever do. But when you only have a certain number of races left, each one takes on a greater importance somehow. I think my retirement has allowed me to enjoy my racing a little bit more, and I'm grateful for that. Loosen me up, allow me to have a little more fun. How will you spend it? Um... Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? I'm still an F1 driver, and I still plan on driving the remaining races. Ask me again when the season's over. Appreciate your time. I'm going to be chilling in Monaco on a yacht, cruising around the med. That's what I'm going to be doing. Ackerman manages to best butler at the U.S. Grand Prix, earning some much-needed championship points for Williams as they continue to snap the heels their rivals at Aston Martin. Beautiful. Eyeing up fourth place. Looks like Twitter is liking all of our answers, is, is liking that we're starting to, to mount a bit of a comeback here. Aiden's calling us. Aiden. Casper, hey, we're closing in on Aston Martin. Yeah, good race out there. I think we can do it, Casper. I think it's on. You know it's not going to be easy, right? Well, the fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Just wanted to say congrats. Yeah, you too. Good see stuff, ya. kid. Bye. Let's keep it up. It's like Lucas really likes to see us beat Devin, and then Brian was also really impressed with that that interview question we had, the answer. Speaking Brian. of Brian. Casper, debrief has been put back 10 minutes, so you've got a little more time. Okay, thanks. Great race out there today. Who'd have thought we'd been pushing for fourth just a few months ago? Yeah, well, you know what they say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. Whoa, brilliant. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> That's inspiring is what that is. 
You keep fighting those fights, Casper. See you at the debrief. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Brian. Just gonna straight up steal the man's joke like that. That's despicable. Chapter 16, it all comes down to this, the final race of the season. With a superb effort over the back half of the last year, Williams have managed to find themselves within striking distance of Aston Martin. Let's do it. Here we go. Can Williams really do it? Let's find out. Can't believe Ackerman's retiring. A wonderful final race. Casper, we're here for you. Oh, farewell, Casper. That's sad. Brian. Casper. Cass. Cassie boy. Cassie boy. He's Have buttering me up. Day? Huge. Yeah. The last race of your career. <laughs> How does it feel? Well, I don't know. I guess I feel... Oh, I'm so excited. Let me tell you. Oh, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm excited for my retirement. <laughs> oh, you're going to be great out there today. I can feel it in my bones. You're going to be terrific. Just remember what I told you. Hmm. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I sure will miss you, Cass. Let's go out with a bang, eh? Not literally. <laughs> right. I'll leave you to it. Be brilliant. Be wonderful. Good luck. Jeff, our race, race engineer, is, is trying to bribe us with a pizza party. I'm sure you've got all the motivation you need right now, but I just want to say, if you can get us fourth, and that's a big if, I'm taking us all out for pizza. What's Hello. up, wifey? Hey, Cass. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Just a little bit... Sad? Yeah, maybe. How's Lils? She's good. We're just grabbing an early lunch. Do you want to talk to Daddy? Why aren't you racing anymore, Daddy? Well, because Daddy's retiring. Can I retire? <laughs> you need a job first, Lily. Hey, who's your favorite driver? I like Aiden. Aiden? Did Mommy tell you to say that? <laughs> Can you put her back on the phone? Bye, Daddy! Aiden Jackson. Bye, Daddy! <laughs> no, no, just hang on, Lily. Hello? Aiden Jackson. That's so funny. I, I love that. I love that part of it. Chapter 16, knowing they need to finish out of both Aston Martin drivers, Casper Ackerman makes a push from the pack as he sets his sights on Devin Butler and fourth place in the championship. Welcome to Abu Dhabi, and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina. Circuit. Dude, I'm kind of sad. This is a track known for its long, long back straight, and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking going into the slow speed corners that follow it. The Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. I am really sad. It, like th this has Let's been such a good career mode. Order. Let's see what the grid's looking like here. Exciting race. It, it, it was so long. We covered what? Three seasons, and the end of F2, the and then the two full row. seasons of F1. Of today's grid, we have ending it where we began. Perez. We we're first racing with Aiden Jackson. We went through playing as Aiden and, and hating Casper and then kind of switching Norris, it back the other way. Ooh, Carlos Butler's in, in eighth. Sinoda, seventh, Ackerman, maybe eighth, I think. Aiden we're going to be in 12th. Aiden's in 13th. Interesting. But yeah, so much has happened. So much has changed. Let's finish it off with a bang. This man, Ackerman, today, and here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Stroll is retiring. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Williams, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. Trash. Oh my gosh, dude, I've got chills. This is so freaking good. I can't believe how We're good this is. Now, Kasper, outstanding work. We've got a chance here. Roger. Let's make that push. We're all behind you. I'm on it. This is the first year. Got to overtake Butler before lap nine. He's going to be up in P6. We are currently in, uh, in in P11. But this is the first year they've ever done a career mode. How do they do it this well? This is show. Don't run into him. This is genuinely. I mean, one of the best career modes I've ever played. A couple of the the Fifas have been pretty good. A couple of the the 2Ks have been pretty good. You know, I feel like over the years they've gotten a bit repetitive, so we kind of take them for granted here. But like this, this was so good. 
I mean, of course, I would always love... Got to be careful about our, our damage here, Trev. Let's not, let's not end the race early. Come around this corner. Use that overtake mode and the DRS. Just kidding. There's no DRS in this straight. I don't know what... We're leading our teammate by 4.2 seconds. I don't know what track you're, you're thinking about, Trev, but there is definitely no DRS there. But, um, you know, of course, I would always, I would always love more cutscenes. And I feel like at, at some point it'd be kind of cool. Granted, we haven't failed anything yet. I do know that when you when you fail an objective, it just kind of makes you redo it. Yeah, It'd be interesting in sixth place. P6. if we had a branching storyline. So like we fail to beat Butler and then you see like, oh my God, we've lost the championship. Everybody's heartbroken. It, it you know, like that stuff like that would be cool. Granted, you wouldn't want it at the very end here, but just like little things throughout the season. If you fail it, then then it changes up the storyline. Could be cool. But overall, I mean, it was it was it was just incredible. It was so good. Okay, we're gonna focus up. I'm gonna stop talking so much. We are four positions behind him. Got to catch him in the next five laps. And uh, I think I think we can do it here. Okay, you're in the top ten. In the top ten, you know it. I'm gonna get Lando here. I think. Try going around the outside, maybe. Grab the inside on that second corner. Beautiful. Way to pass him clean. Oh, God. Bit heavy right there, but we're going to be fine. We got our DRS. We got to take the absolute most advantage of these back straights here. Akon's got his DRS. The McLaren does not. Just kidding. That's signs, not a McLaren in front of him. I don't... Know if I'm colorblind or what, but here we go. Let's see if we can. Man, this this little DRS zone does not do much for us, does it? Gotta find a way around signs. Looks like he's not in the best form. He's kind of all over the track here, so we should should be able to catch him. We're putting in a good lap here. Maybe on the start, finish straight. Don't run him in, into him, Trev. Keep it close, but not too close. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. We're hitting traffic here, man. We don't have a ton of time. Come on. Really don't want to run into him, but just trying to find our way around him. This is this is going to have to be it right here. We're not going to get him. Devin is three places ahead of you right now. Maybe. Take the inside. Got him. Let's go. Well, not far ahead now, Cass. Keep on it. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Akon's the only one in front of us, in between us, and we should be able to get around him with this DRS overtake mode slipstream. Shouldn't even be close. I'm trying to duck in behind him for as long as possible. All right. Hello, Devin. So, I mean, we, we were really behind in points if we needed if we needed Lance directly ahead of you Lance stroll to, to exit the race to DNF and we both needed to be way up in the the, the points we we must have I mean this we were living on a prayer out here this was not a very likely outcome but I think our lucky stars had actually happened can I just pit maneuver him, please? I would I would love. Let me just sit him into the wall. He genuinely deserves it. I got him here. I got him here. Use our overtake button. I got him here. I got him there. Let's go. So Williams potentially on track to really upset Aston Martin here with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. He's trying to win that place back, but which way is he going to go? He's going to wreck us. Inside he goes, and they hit each other. That's really aggressive from Devon Butler. He sends both cars spinning out. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. Too late on the brakes. I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Williams car's still moving. 
The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. Let's go! It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. But he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant. But can Kasper Ackerman's Williams car finish? You okay, Kasper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's fine. I can finish. Uh, Butler's out of the race. Butler's out. We have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Kasper. Okay. You need to go for third, Aiden. Uh, Bobby, third. What about Kasper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Kasper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? Go get him, son. What's he gonna tell him? You need to pass Casper, Aiden. Copy. He says you'd better get on that podium. Uh, that will get the team fourth. Maybe, if Casper's car holds out. I guess I better get on that podium then. Dude, I, I literally have like kind of tears in my eyes right now. This is so cool. This, this was so well done. All right, let's go, Aiden. Gotta focus up. Can shed them tears when we get get P4, baby. Not that it's really been. I mean, it's it's been kind of emotional. I feel like we haven't really gotten to know these characters that much, but I also at the same time I feel like we have really know their families and and all the struggles they've gone through and stuff like that to to get to this point. Just so happy. That Devin is out. You know, he's walking back to the, the you know, paddock right now, fuming. He's going to watch us succeed and take his spot at Mercedes. Let's see what we can do. Get a good exit out of this corner. Should be enough to pass Leclerc. Going to use our overtake mode here. Dive the inside. Got him. That's one down. Few to go. Perez is up next. And the Red Bull looking like we might be shaping up for a similar passing situation. To be able to get up into fourth. Just got to have a, a good exit here. Get on our overtake this mode. Is strong, but be aware your tires need to go the distance. Gap to teammate behind is 4.2 seconds. Go wheel to wheel and push him out of there. Let's go. Able to hang in there. Really kind of made use of the curbs and the inside and stuff there, but we got it done. One more. Now, this is actually really savage. They're going to have us pass Valtteri, and he's the one whose seat we're taking at the end of this race during this offseason. So I'm sorry, bud. Apologies to the whole Finnish F1 family, but uh, got your seat, baby. Let's go. See ya. Imagine Valtteri getting three laps of fuel remaining. Getting beat by a Williams, bro. He would he would never feel or hear the end of it. I, I feel kind of bad for him, man. I, I don't know what, like, he's been, he's an incredible driver. Obviously overshadowed by Lewis. He's been kind of the perfect okay, teammate for Lewis. 10.6 seconds. Which is good and all, and like he's had a great career, but at the same time, like is that what you want to be known as, as the perfect teammate for the guy that, you know, is the most winningest, most successful, maybe, maybe not. It's It's got to be tough living in that shadow and, and dealing with all the, the stuff that he gets. So many other guys put in that position wouldn't have been able to do what he did for the team and everything and, and kind of sacrificing your own, I don't know, not to, I, I, he's, I don't think he's naturally as good as Lewis, but at the same time, like, you know, it could be like a Nico Rosberg Lewis situation where there's tons of drama and stuff. And not to say they haven't had any, but it is, I feel like Valtteri's just been such a good number two for so long. It'd be a good legacy. I mean, the dude's made, you know, plenty of millions of dollars and has been able to do what he loves. But at the same time, I could imagine just how frustrating that would be. But uh, that's besides the point. Those are the old school drivers. Get them out of here. Sweep them away. It's time for Aiden Jackson's new stint at uh, Mercedes. Look at that, dude. Ackerman's up in up in P5, and he's he's still got the fastest lap of the race. That's amazing. Nice nice job, Cass. That's what I'm talking about. So we're we're about to come home. 
with a, uh, a P3 and a P5 with a double DNF for Aston Martin. We are absolutely going to blow their points out of the water and uh, have that, that fairy tale ending that we've been, we've been hoping for. Dude, Max and, and Lewis were flying here. Granted, I was just looking up at their time, so that was a bad corner right there. But I, I've, I've been really pushing it, really trying as hard as I can, and we, we still only got within seven and a half of second place. So sick, dude. To come in as a rookie season. This has been for Williams. and carry well, Williams to P4. Ago, you wouldn't have believed it, but they finished fourth in the constructors. If the rumors are to be believed, they'll be reluctant now to let young Aiden Jackson go. What a talent he's proved to be, and an incredible end to an incredible career for Casper Ackerman, who somehow found his way back into the race after that nasty scrape with Butler. What a race here in Abu Dhabi. I can't believe Casper survived that. His car Jeez, did. Mate. Thanks. Hey. Casper. So sick. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Uh, no. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's okay? Who's Digo? I hope not. <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. And bid you a fond farewell. I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. They yeah, couldn't get Lewis and Max's voice in this? Come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? This isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Mm. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment. Brian, when have I ever let you down? You really want me to answer that? <sighs> Guess not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want it. Casper! Casper! For heaven's sake, man, get out there. Get out you there, Cass! That. That'd be one of the coolest feelings, just shaking champagne all over everyone. Wifey looking fine as hell. Toto. Ooh, giving us the thumbs up. I think that's a wrap. I think that's it. Dude, that was... I, I don't want it to be over. It was so good. And loving memory of Murray Walker. Max Mosley. That was... It, it was... It was so good. It exceeded every expectation I had. I was excited about it. As soon as it was announced, I was stoked. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Career modes never really get that much of a focus. A lot of times they feel just kind of scrapped together just to say you have it. But that, I mean, that, that was so good. So well done. Hmm. I hope we get some sort of a DLC or an expansion or something for it. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I just, I, I don't want it to be over ultimately as, as how I'm feeling. So, um, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey. I'm hoping this is a massive success. I hope a bunch of people play it and they see it, you know, Codemasters and EA and they're like, hey, next year, F1 2022, let's do it again. Let's do it. You know, I'd be happy with the same or we could do it bigger, better, even more. You know what I mean? Have branching storylines and, and stuff could be kind of cool, but that was genuinely so, so, so good. I loved it. And I hope you guys did too. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. We're going to move on to my team. I'm going to skip the credits here. See if there's anything at the end. There is no secret at the end. All right. It's time to get back to, uh, to our my team. Back to Cooper Motors. I'll see you guys there.